Hello everybody, Crack Videos here, and uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a Counter Strike server um, without plugins. That means you know AMX Modex and all those really cool plugins won't be there. But it's pretty easy to make that. You just have to go to AMX Modex org. It's not hard, and then you just have to press um, downloads. Down the latest version, install it, and um, yeah that's all uh, just put in the server port forward okay so first you're just gonna have to go to your counter strike directory and I'm just gonna go to my clean counter strike directory with no with no mods no nothing and just gonna find HLDS which is right over here I'm just gonna press that and um, I'm just gonna open this and you can choose the game of course counter strike and then the server name you can keep it as um, test server blah blah troll arc body blah 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 okay and then the map you can keep it as any map you want so for example I'll keep it D dust um, inferno D the inferno and then of, if you are making an internet server that means anyone can join it you wanna press internet if you want your friends to play it press LAN and you can use Hamachi um, Hamachi is um, a really good it's, it's self port forwarding to play LAN you can use this to play LAN so anyways then the max players you can keep it as anything I like it uh, 14 because of my internet connection and the U UDP port okay so this is the port where people are kind of confused so you just keep it default or you can make it 1413 your wish but I like to keep it as default and the RC and password you can keep it anything like 1 to 3 but make sure it's safe from other people if you don't have plugins in the server and then secure well venti cheat it doesn't really affect anything so you can just turn it off and then um, just uh, so now is the part where people really get confused at so uh, you have to go to your to, um, start menu and if you have Windows XP you are going to have to find run and then you are going to have to type inside cmd.exe once you've opened that just start your server and then over here you are just going to write IP config and that's going to open all these so all of your internets over um, just go to control panel and internet uh, which one was it? Uh, network and sharing center. All these internets over here will be given. <laughs> so I want to find the one I'm using, which is wireless connection. Uh, yeah, okay, this one. <laughs> so you can see a link local IPv6 address, IPv4 address, subnet mask, and default gateway. <laughs> okay, so what you need to find is a default gateway and it's either one of these so I'm just gonna go on to my browser click here and then just type 192.168.1.1 and according to um, your router you're gonna have something else so this is for Linksys EA2500 with smart Wi-Fi <laughs> and I'm just gonna uh, type my password here after you've typed your password just gonna load and then you're gonna go to security sorry not security oh yeah security okay apps and gaming single port forwarding <laughs> and here's all the things you've actually you're gonna port forward this is my brother so just uh, ignore that so this is mine for my death run server but I've closed it so um, <laughs> you can turn it on at any time and off so application name C strike or anything and then this part internal port should be the port right over here this port right over here <laughs> okay and then the external internal will be same in protocol either UDP or both your wish and then the device IP um, should be um, this one right over here the IPv4 address it turns at 129 so I'm just gonna type 129 right over here then I can press save apply ok so I've already done that ok so to test if your server works and and you wanna make it multiplayer for 
play for players all over the world to join it you're gonna go to game tracker game tracker dot com <laughs> okay once you're at game tracker you're gonna log in uh, register login after you've logged in just go to servers and you're gonna press counter strike or any game you're actually trying uh, so counter strike 1.6 IP or domain you can go to ipchicken.com or what is my ip.com I'm just gonna copy the IP paste it over there and then um, just run it um, join port should be 27015 just press add server so I'm just gonna press add server and it says we have added the server the server name to your favorite service for your convince convince whatever <laughs> get even more feature blah blah blah, blah. so <laughs> server added <laughs> okay so test server blah 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 okay so I'm just gonna delete it cuz I don't want it okay so that's actually all of it and if you have another router you can just go to portforward.com and there's a way there's so many routers over here oh man they changed it so much easier before you can just go to port forwarding and then you can just find your router for example if you have a linksys uh, i mean like a belkin maybe <laughs> so you can go find belkin over here and um, just close the freaking ads and just for information if you have an f7 oh, which one was it f7d to 301 version 1 it it cannot port forward but you can port forward minecraft for it so just say i have a let's say i have this one so i can go search for which um game i want to port forward for or any application and i'll just press control f for find counter strike and then it won't have 1.6 or there's global defense source and all that so my god what have they done with the website oh my god okay so you can you can't port forward with this one also so let's yeah you can uh, try any other router you want uh, there's so many other routers in this world uh, if i prefer linksys or netgear if you want to host a server or um, aztec but aztec is not as good but yeah links is good so I'm just gonna stop the server um, I don't know if this works no it doesn't okay oh it does okay so I'm just gonna close the server and um, thanks for watching uh, yeah click the like button if this helped you and um, see ya